Day 3. Matthew 1, 1 through 17, some of the words from that. A record of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. The genealogy recorded here in Matthew seems at first glance, quite honestly, a big waste of time and very unnecessary. But then as I recall from Bible 101 in my college days, Matthew had a very specific purpose for writing his gospel. He was targeting his audience because he was specifically writing to the Hebrew people who did not believe that Jesus was the Messiah. So he began by connecting Jesus not only to his Jewish heritage, but also to the Old Testament prophecies. He connected Jesus to King David through his earthly father's lineage, Jesus of the house of David. Matthew was passionate about his Messiah, yet he knew that for the Hebrew people to hear what he had to say, he had to speak their language. This is an incredibly valuable example and lesson for all of us. If we want to communicate to a person or a group, we must find out about that person or group. What are they passionate about? What are their likes and dislikes? Then try to find a common language that helps you communicate and, more importantly, helps them hear. Jesus used parables throughout his entire ministry for this very purpose. When he talked to fishermen, he used the illustration about being fishers of men. That's something that Peter, James, and John could relate to. When he talked to the woman at the well, he found out where she was in her life and then shared with her in a way that she could hear. As a performer, one of my philosophies has always been to go to the audience, don't make them come to you. I try to do a little research before each performance to find out about the audience. Then I feel like I can better share with them things in a way they will understand. For example, telling kid stories to a group of businessmen is a bad idea, but telling mom tales to a group of mothers of preschoolers will probably be a big home run.